Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you and welcome back to Trice to Azure. You know what? I ended up. I'm like, dude, my walkthrough is kind of like. Let, let's just put, put it walkthrough already. Let, oh, the rare, rare play. Well, it's, it's as I say, like, I put the part of the story, super events, quest, and all that kind of thing. What am I repeating myself? I don't know. No, this is not here. I forgot. Where is this? For one that... No. Oh, it's stylish. I think it's... Where is it? Stylish mirror? No. No. Uh, Kia? No, I don't think it's Kia. Nah. I'm like, nah. Okay, come here, guys. Mm, does this look all right? Yes, when Lloyd of Okay, yeah, I did that. You know, these things, I, I, I found it cool, you know? No. I'm pretty sure I have a plush that make Kia happy. I think I'll give it to her as a gift. You're very welcome. Alright. This is Noel, but nothing. Maybe it will be Tio. Or... Or Landy. Yeah. Okay, let's go outside. Saito! Heaven's side to looks bored on raining days. I hope you don't mind watching over the building to pass the time. Oh my god, Saito, why are you so poetic every time? God damn it. Remember the SSF top priorities responding to citizen requests at putting an emphasis on their safety. Cow and Lecter fall outside of that for now, leaving the investigation them to the first division. You kids have other duties to attend to. Let's do chief. Okay, so let's go to the next to 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 well uh, something. Hey, Noel, Noel, come here. Hi everyone. You came at just the right time. There's something very important I like to discuss with Noel. I mean, Miss Seeker. What's going on, friend? You never look this serious. Listen. Can I really not call you Noe when we are on duty? Oh, friend. And here I was thinking there was some sort of emergency. I didn't explain it several times when my transfer to the SSS was decided. I told you that if we're going to work together, you have to stay professional and objective while on duty. But, 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 me sick. Ah, I can't do it. You will always be annoying to me. Can you give her a break, Noel? It's not that big of a deal. That's right, here in France, say me sick or simply does it sound right. And we can have her hesitating on what to call you if there were some kind of crisis. I guess so, but. See, me not calling you Noi could get everyone killed. <laughs> I have no choice but to call you Noi. Plus, we are you ordered to lose up well in the special support section. We could always take it up with the chief. What is going for the jugular? On for the love of Adios, fine. Yes, score one for Franny. <laughs> Thanks for all the help, guys. <clears throat> well then, good luck out there, no- e e oh, Come on, don't you have to say it like that too? Just this sounds... So she says. Ah, Noel never stood a chance. Okay, where she is, where she is. Inside? I mean, it's raining, so... 
So the girl has taken to helping Sister Marvel, has she? You mean Sister Reese? Yes, she has. She is such a quick learner. Having her at the cathedral has been a great help to all of us. Is that so? I suppose it's fine. Where, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah. It's good to hear that classes are going so well. I suppose that's one advantage that the children have been living in such a modern city. You may be right about that, but I don't think it's exclusive to just them. You'll find that children are the same no matter where you go deep down. Point taken, that may very well be the case. By the way, Sister Reese, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. Would you happen to be the youngest sister of Arufina Arrigant? I got... Ah! You knew my older sister. Just as I thought, I had a feeling you were given the last name. Your sister helped me numerous times before her passing. Really now? Say, Sister Marble, there's a favor I'd like to ask you. You don't have to say another word, dear. You follow the same path she did, didn't you? I own Rufina so much, your secret is safe with me. And I won't be telling the RB shop. See, even them don't want to tell them. However, may I offer a single word of advice? Don't over, ex don't over exert yourself while you're here, okay? I'm sure your sister will want that too. I understand. Thank you for your concern. Rufina. Uh, okay. Resist upon that. that. That matters. Okay, now where is. Ah, oh my god. Now! I think it's this way. Oh my god, so beautiful. I think I can go in now, right? Is that you, Sully? I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, you guys, huh? What brings you here? I found her walking in the cemetery without an umbrella. Then I invite her into the cabin and pour some hot cocoa. Thank you for giving me a place to take shelter from the rain, old man. And for the cocoa too, it really warmed me up. Ha, <laughs> glad to hear it. But why come to the cemetery? Actually, I was here to pray at the cathedral. But I guess I got sidetracked. There was a beautiful cathedral there too, in North Umbria. North Umbria, isn't that... Yes, the autonomous state in the northwest part of Zemuria. Yeah, that's where the slum I grew up in is. I see. I hear that North Umbria isn't exactly the most pleasant place for several reasons. It's Gehenna on Earth. Maybe there's a portal. The kind place where everyone is desperate to survive just one more day. The only person you could truly fend for was yourself. Caring for others was a luxury most couldn't afford. Nothing like how it is here, the city doesn't compare. Sure, there is evil here too, but... There are also generous people like Ilya. And even like this old man who went out of his way to help some kid he never met before. Since coming here was even gifted the opportunity to train as a performer. You mean to join Arkansas on stage, right? That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I guess so. But even now, I still hesitate sometimes. I never even considered the possibility of someday training to become a stage performer. Sully. I get there is no use overthinking it and dueling on that kind of stuff. And besides, you guys are even weirder than me. 
I hear you're always showing up like it's your destiny to help people, even if it's just to listen to their problems. Do you think so? You got us there. She's right, even among the rest of the police, the SSS is pretty special when it comes to things like that. And no matter what anyone says, our leader is the weirdest. You want to talk, Waze. Well, either way, maybe even us coming here today was meant to be. If you are ever in trouble, you can always come to talk to us, okay? Ha, <laughs> and you're welcome here anytime you want to. I'll be sure to have some snacks on hand next time. <laughs> Thanks. I want snacks. Okay, next place. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Here. I'm like walking. We've been getting more requests through the Orbal Net lately. We especially get a lot of these cruelly raining days. Only problem is we're so busy that we have to reject the low priority ones. Sometimes we forward them to the SSS, so um, please find the time to do them. Let me the bracer. Okay, let me see. Remiferia, stand by, stand by. Send Ursula. Okay, let's go there. Hey, look who it is. The SSS. Haven't seen you guys in a while. It's good to see you again, Scott Wenzel. You two must be bracer, talent-looking ones at that. Hey, you're that downtown gangs. And you you look like you be from the CGF. I get it now, you must be new recruits. Putting Wazi aside for a second, how do you know I'm from the CGF just from a glaze? Because we're we are bracers. You don't look or act like any police officer I, I ever seen. Take it from us, Bracer. You need to have an eye for this line of what oh, <laughs> We'll take that uh, to heart. You better play Sky. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be crossing path a lot from here on out. Let's keep doing our best for Crosswell's sake, yeah? Of course, of course. We always count on Bracer. Stell. Joshua. Ah. Shara. <laughs> All right, I sell some stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so poor right now. Yeah, I'm poor. I'm poor. Okay. Hmm. Yappari ayashii mise da na. So ne, nan to kite mo nare nai to yu ka. とりあえずアシュリーさんに例の男について聞いてみましょう。Before that girl. Ingo. I don't like rain. It's wet and cold, irritating, and it gets everywhere. Say, so you think you could kill a rain cold cloud if you shot in with a normal gun? Shoot the rain. What do you even say to a question like that? I don't know where I don't know where to begin. Huh? Tokumushi and Kaka? Atashi ni nani ka yokai? Hi. Jitsuwa, Ashuri san ni ukaga itai koto ga aru nes. Moto buki shonin to shite no anata ni. Hmm. Nandai? Tsao tachi ga. 本格的に動き始めた件についてかい。さすがにご存知でしたか。多分それとは別件だとは思うんですが。ウェイト。オッケー。赤毛の異常物か。うん。心当たりはありませんか。裏社会に属する男なのは。
へえそんなにやばい心当たりがあるのかいさてねただ私の想像がもし最悪のケースだった場合あんたらの手に負える相手じゃないのは間違いないだろうねそこまでいややはり両兵かテロリストあたりですか<笑>さてねもしその男だった場合一応こちらも付き合いがあるペラペラ喋るわけにはいかないさででも良兵ならともかくテロリストなら放置できませんいくらクロスベルとはいえテロ行為を罰する法律はあります最低限の情報だけでも教えてもらうわけにはいきませんかロイド<笑>悪くないガイの弟だったかいい目をするようになったねアシュリーさん兄貴と面識が今じゃダドリーあたりもたまに顔を見せるが当時旧市街組んだりまで足を運んでくる水郷な捜査官はやつくらいだったからね面白い男を亡くしたもんだよ<笑>あのバカに免じてこれだけは答えてやろう私の最悪の心当たりはテロリストってわけじゃないただ人食いトラみたいな危険な男ではあるけどねひ人食いトラやれやれ最悪な相手じゃないかまあその男かどうかはまだ決まったわけじゃないあんたたちが見た男ってのは一人きりだったんだろうやつなら大抵部下か連れが同行しているはずだからねそそうなんですかとなるとやはり軍隊関係者ですか<笑>ここまでだこれ以上は自分たちの力で迫ってみるんだねわかりました情報ありがとうございます Wait System No、uh, Option Where is it? 後ろ盾を失った統合そうか<笑> I didn't, I didn't quite. しとしと言ってんなそうだママ昨日届いた物二ほどきしなくていいのかなあこの天気だし急ぐことはないだろうそれより神吾あんた昨日町に出た時変なやつを見かけなかったか変なやつそんなのいっぱいいたぞバカンスルックの若造とかパンを山ほど買ってたシスターの姉ちゃんとかあのワジも変なやつだしなそっかならいいんだまあ気にしすぎかもしやつが来たんだとしたら娘も連れているだろうからねさすがの迫力でしたけどはぐらかされてしまいましたねまあああいう業界には独自の仁義があるはずだからあそこまで教えてくれただけでも感謝しましょうそうだなそれにしても人食いトラみたいな男かテロリストでないとすると良兵の可能性が高そうだけどまあ良兵の場合一人ってのはちょっと不自然だけどねそのあたりも含めて課長さんに報告しておけばああそうしよう良兵関係ならランディが何か知っていそうだけどまあいい今は残っている支援要請を片付けようあ、oh. like, uh. think he's here Hello. No. You guys.
This is it, I'm Wazzy. I'm guessing you guys haven't seen Wall lately. Oh, no, why did he do something? Well... Don't Dino, we got nothing to say to someone who's obeyed this cover as police dogs. Hurry up and leave. As you wish. I think that's the thing, right? I think, I think. I don't remember too well. あ、バルド。どうしたんだい他の誰にも迷惑はかけていないけど。てめえ、本気で言ってんのかこの俺様とバルドバレスと決着つけずにチームを抜けんなんざ。許されると思ってんのかああバルド、待ってくれ。その、これには事情が。せえ、ガイア
Oh, okay. Satetto. Satetto. I'm gonna try to end it with an S craft. What are what? Ah sorry well Do I kill him? I get him feeling gonna kill him. さよなら。この2年結構楽しかったよ。ふざけろ。絶対に認めねえぞ。てめえ1人抜けるなんて。Dude, you can feel the heart in here. Waji. Waji, can. So no. みっともないところを見せたね。ちょっと僕らしくもなく熱くなっちゃったかな。いや。なんて言うか。男なんてそんなもんだろ。男の子の気持ちはちょっとわからないけど、あなたが彼に誠意を持って向き合ったのはわか
In the meantime, the Civic Center is still performing some duties as a branch office. In that sense, it still has its uses. Good to know. Yes, and this reception desk will continue to operate as the point of contact for several city services. However, there is still some confusion among the cities that are leading to a lot of misguided inquiries. Uh, I'm so sorry, that's not what you came here for. Uh, no problem, sounds like you have your work cut out for you. Ooh, real crazy releasing my thing. If it were up to me, this entire area would be absorbing to the third. <laughs> <laughs> Severe service by day, nightclub by night. I'm sure the SSS will be more popular than ever if we made that happen. Why would we have a hand in that? What will our support request be? Our duty is to protect and serve, not prepare and serve alcohol. What? <laughs> <laughs> so it would be kind of fun. Um. <clears throat> anyway, Lloydo, aren't you forgetting the reason why we're here? Uh, all right. Uh, sorry about that super request then. Uh, yes, allow me to explain. I'm sure you are all aware of what a change of residence notice is, yes? It's required any time a citizen of a city plans to change addresses. Recently, we found suspicious names on some of these forms. Suspicious. That's right, the names didn't belong to anyone registered within the city to be precise. The few we found also weren't listed under any property or business. So I was hoping you could look into each address this notice came from. Just to be safe, I also like you to check on the prior residents as well. In other words, you want us to confirm the status of the previous and current tenant at each address, right? If there is a possibility this is a criminal matter, then we can ignore it. Of course, we'll investigate this. Yes, we must. I assume you have a list of all the suspicious addresses. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of each of those previous tenants, so? No, we only know the location of one of the people who moved. The others are unaccounted for. Naturally, that's where we come in. In that case, it's best to start the address the suspicious forms came from. We may be able to learn something about the previous residents from investigating them. Yeah, that should work. May we have the list of addresses? Yes, I have a copy ready for you. Okay, we'll hold on to this. Looks like there are a total of three places of interest. First one is the residential district elite. Do you recognize this address? Let me see. Oh, that's the house right next to the grandfathers. The residents are the High Bloods. Is this the name of a company? A stalker broker named Bond was living there with his family last I knew. Yeah, that's the name listed as the previous resident. A stockbroker named Bond. Wasn't he one of the Genosis victims during the cult incident? Yes, I'm certain of it. I hear the family was going through a rough time following the incident. I didn't know they moved. No way, do you think they got wrapped up in something else? We can't say for sure, but Bond did submit a change of residence notice. Says he moved to East Street on the second floor of the Acancia apartment. That's the place just for, to the left of the Bracer Guild. The residential district and East Street will have to investigate each other to get to the bottom of this one. The next address is also on East Street. I know this address. It should belong to the Fisherman Guild. Wait, what? What's wrong? Well, the form says the current resident is the Imperial Fishing Club. I never hear of anything like that. Why are you a member of the Fisherman Guild, Lloydo? Have you heard anything from the other members? 
I've been kind of busy lately and haven't had nearly as much time for fishing as I like. There's also no new adders listed for the Fisherman Guild. Could it be that they just changed their name? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. The last adders is one of the first floor of Lotus Heights in Down District. Gaithner was the name of the previous tenant. There's no new adders listed for him either. The new tenant's name is Sean Arnam. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. That's the name of the famous fairy tale author. What? He wrote Mark and the Witch of the Deep Forest. It's one of the most popular children book series at the library. Remember Lloydo, we came across the name while we were investigating the Revash Headout. Yeah, that's right, it was the password to a door, wasn't it? I can't believe a famous author would choose to live downtown. Me neither, considering he's been dead for years. Oh right, I knew that. Sounds like our investigation has evolved into a ghost hunt. Sorry about all this. We try to be careful about these things, I swear. It's fine, we understand. Now must be a busy time for the Civic Center with a new mayor in office and the relocation in progress. Yeah, the ones who should be apologizing are the people who submitted these dubious forms. Y yes, I suppose you're right. The SSS will take care of this. Let's get our investigation started right away. We'll report back to you once we have confirmed the situation at each of these addresses. Thank you so much and continue on you. Let me see something. Where is it? No, I wanted to... I took all the requests, right? I, I'm getting feeling I didn't. <laughs> no, really, I'm getting that feeling. Wait, uh, yes. Yes. Ellie House. Next to the McDowell State, it must be the place. Excuse me, is anyone home? No lock. The door locked. No, it's open actually. I hear some voices inside too. Maybe they are busy talking so they didn't notice us? I think it's fine for us to walk right in since it's already open. We are the cops after all. Just because we're the police doesn't mean we can barge into people's home wherever we want. But we are in a dire need of the answer, so we don't have a choice. Let's go inside and make our presence now. <laughs> Man, this morning drive was a thrill. Nothing like drift racing in the rain. Yeah, my heart's still beating like crazy. Hey, Reggie, where are those girls you called? Should be any time. Oh, here they are. Perfect timing. Hey, wait, aren't you those cops from yesterday? What, what the hell are you doing here? You're, you're three who were arrested for reckless driving. Care to explain exactly what's going on here? I think we just stumbled on a robbery in progress. Called Red Handed, the spook him. The, the hell are you talking about? Why would we be hanging out like this if we were here to rob the place? Yeah, who the hell let you cops in? This is our house, where do you get off bargaining like this? your house, does that mean that make them the new residents? It's 
Excuse us, gentlemen. We are here on pol police of business. We need to ask you a few questions. This shouldn't take long. So you three came to Crossbow to study the culture. Then you found this house for sale while looking for a place to stay. I already hear about it on a whim. Am I correct? Yes, that's it. Then what's the meaning of the name High Bloods on the residential farm? <laughs> you wanna know? It's the name of our dynamic trio. <laughs> I mean, they come for cavalry if we see them there. Hmm? It's because we have noble blood coursing through our veins. Perfect name for people who've been blessed by the goddess, huh? Damn straight. All of our fat dads are hires up at the burn company. Yuri's dad is on the board of directors. You should be groveling out our feet. Exactly. Oh, finally. Hello, ladies. Wow, the real deal finally arrived. Um, which one of you is Mr. High Bloods? Are we interrupting? No, 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 don't worry. They were just leaving. Hit the bricks already. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. You don't have to tell us twice. Looks like they're in for a good time. I won't mind staying. You'll go on ahead. Quite was he. They struck me as... Oiled brats coasting on their parents' money. It's a shame that such a beautiful home fell into their hands. I can imagine this is what Bond wanted. I didn't see anything illegal about their contract though. It is frustrating but there is nothing more we can do about it. Be like, why there is nothing illicit? I want to arrest them. True, we should leave them alone for now. Anyway, this is all we need to check in the residential district. Should we pay Bon a visit, Lloydo? I like to hear his side of the story. Sam, I'm worried how the, his family is doing. Okay, let's go to East, this district and see them at their new home. We're staying at the Acacia's apartment. Wait, something important that we always need to do. Rene. My mind started to wander when I'm alone like this. For an instance, that purple haired girl who saved Colleen that one time. And we fated to never meet after all. I won't even know where to begin. It's simple a hope I can let go of yet. If I ever get the chance, I would love to offer that girl my gratitude. That girl ran. Rene! She long since gone to live there with Estelle and Joshua. I'm sure there is still a wealth of emotion for her to sort through, but I do believe she will come back one day, eventually. This tastes so good. Oh, Colleen, snatch a cookie. What a deceivious little boy. Bond's family used to live on this street, but they moved away recently. They say their goodbyes before they left, but I haven't heard from them since. I hope they're alright. Okay, now let's go to Bond's. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I cannot run- oh my god, no! I cannot run through walls. Faster way! more force away okay I'm just thinking everything will be here right now you're such a well-behaved girl Mary have some pets as a reward oh we have visitors who doesn't knock on doors I remember you. We are with the Crossbell police. 
You are Bone, correct? We met during the cult incident. Yes, of course. I'm in your debt for rescuing me from my cell inside that terrible fortress. I want to express my gratitude all this time. Thank you so much. You have mine as well. Thank you for all you have done for our family. Not at all. We were merely doing our duty. I'm glad to see you are all doing well now. I <laughs> only because of all of you so is there any reason you came to visit today there is so that's what it is all about you four are investigating dubious change of residence forms i take it you like to hear the details of how i sold our old home yes sorry to pry but we need to confirm that it was all above board it's fine, I understand where you are coming from. The truth of the matter is that we had to sell off the house to repay our debt, as unfortunate as it was. The buyer turned out to be the same real estate agency we originally bought from. Everything about the purchase was legitimate. As far as I know, nothing remotely illegal occurred at all. That's a relief. I have a question, you have an obligation to answer and I understand if you don't. Would you mind divulging how your family fell into debt? Well, as you may already suspect, it was a consequence of my action this past spring. My memories from the are still a blur. I made ill-advised decision while under the influence of that accursed blue pill. After the incident, our lives came crashing down. We fell into serious debt. I I'm so sorry. It's okay, believe it or not, I feel blessed after everything that happened. Thankfully, I was able to cover most of the debt by selling our assets. It has a hard thing to do, but I was also fortunate enough to keep my job. Most importantly, my wife and daughter stayed with me through it all. They still love their fool of a husband and father. Dear, you promised to not say things like that again. We are a family, nothing will change that. I made a vow through thick and thin. Creel, I love you so much. I'm so grateful to have you and Sunita. D dear, not while we have company. Oh, you do have something special. They say home is where the heart is, as long as you're together. Where you live doesn't really matter, does it? Yes, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I've been working hard at making a fresh start and keeping my nose clean. I'll be sure to pay off the rest of our debt for my wife and daughter's sakes. Oh, honey. You are a good man, Bon. Please, let us know if you need our assistance again. That's right, we'll be there for you. I really couldn't be more grateful. We'll be sure to call the SSS if we ever need help. So what... Was that all you needed? I'll answer any other question you may have. No, that's okay. We got the, what we came here for. We appreciate your cooperation. Should we get going? That will be for the best. It was good seeing you, Bon. We'll be rooting for you to keep raising such a lovely family. <laughs> Thank you, I do what I can. As we like we. Oh, hello. Were you speaking with mother and father? That's right, we were having a little chat with them. You have a wonderful parent, Sunita. You think so too? They've been really happy and close ever since we moved. I couldn't ask for better parents. Isn't that right, Marie? Meow. Sounds like Marie agrees. 
I'm happy for them. We confirm the whereabouts of the Bond and his family. Alright, let's continue the investigation. Ghost Town. Ah. Same as the last time we came by here. Are you sure you don't know what may have happened here, Lloydo? Sad to say, but I haven't the foggiest about what's been happening with the Fisherman Guild lately. Oh, it doesn't look like the door is locked, though. Insulted little, you call yourself a fisherman. Y yes, I do. I won't stand for your coercive practices. Uh, did you hear that, Lloydo? Uh, yeah, I recognize two of those voices. Let's go inside. Excuse us. Oh. Who are you? Who is there? Hey, it's Lloydo! You came at just the right time. Tell him, Lloydo. The Crossbow Branch of the Fisherman Giggle is a place where all anglers are supposed to be friends and stand together, row to row. What are you talking about? So you belong to the Fisherman Guild, do you? If you come to voice your futile grievance as well. Uh, well, it's true that I am a member, but... You are investigating suspicious addresses. I suppose it is true that we send the residency form but have yet to register as a business. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lock Lord the Third. I'm here to wear a bonus Lake Lord Company, the leading fisherman gear manufacturer in all of Zemoria. As for the Imperial Fishing Club, it is none other than the professional fishing organization that I represent. The Lake Lord Company. The, have you heard of it, Lloydo? Yeah, any fisherman wore his paid will be familiar with the Lake Lord name. Like it says, the most prolific fishing gear company on the continent. You can catch your rod anywhere without seeing their stuff. Wow, they are that well known. But what business would the hair to an imperial company have in Crossbow? That business is, of course, to further growth and expand my glorious Imperial Fishing Club. You are standing in our newest foothold. Here it is all in the fine print officers. Let me take a look at that. Is the lease agreement for the building. Everything here checks out, the current contract is the Imperial Fishing Club. Ha! Now do you understand? Who, you can't let him get away with this Lloydo, he's trying to oppress the fisherman guild. Oppress? That's right, he stole the contract without even discussing it with Serdan. This pompous but spare Nomira convincing the real estate company to sell it to him. We may have been a tad forceful, but I assure you we follow all due proceeds. Furthermore, this establishment was a waste of commoners like you. The fisherman gills is fishing as nothing for than a hobby or a pastime. That's to say nothing of your shoddy equipment. Hey, don't forget I'm a member. The discussion is over. We have made our case perfectly clear. If you understand and leave and inform this Serdan and whoever else you need to. I will leave the rest to you, Salem. Y yes, sir. Ah, the cape. Don't run away, you coward. That's right, this isn't over. Something tells me he's not coming back. How did this happen? We can't let it end like this. Yeah, we can let him steal our branch away. We have to tell Serdan about this. 
Hey Peter, how did all this begin? I'm still a little confused. That's right, you have been absent for a while, Loido. Anyway, let's get out of the rain and find somewhere to talk. I'll call the branch manager and have him come to Garen Jazz Bar in the back alley. Please come too, Loido. We're gonna go on ahead, see you there. I wonder what led to this. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we should follow up and get some answers. Let's head to the Jazz Bar too. Teletransportation not functioning. Right here, right there, right down. Oh my god. Hey Lodo, glad to see you made it. Sorry to drag you out here, Lodo. Alright, we are all here, let's start the meeting. First, we have to fill Lloyd in on the details. Truth is, our guild branch has its activities paused for mode. Think of it as a self-enforced suspension. Suspension. Right, it's because Joachim, the man behind that massive incident, was one of our members. After that, we all decided to take some time to reflect on what happened but you should feel accountable for what he did. Sure, we weren't really directly involved in the incident and didn't do anything criminal, but Joaquin was still one of our own, a guild brother. Yet, we never realized what he was capable of. We saw no sign of what he was plotting or the demons that haunted him. We can't help but feel that maybe we could have helped him had we only noticed. Sir, Sir Dan, it's not your... Well, let's set that aside for now. About a week ago, I received a notice from the real estate company. Maybe they got wind of our suspension. I don't know. They claim the building was un unoccupied and say our contract was null and void. They also inform us that they have signed a new contract with Emperor Fishing Club. I tried getting in contact with Emperor Fishing Club after that, but it didn't go well. And today, when we dropped by the branch, the representative was inside acting like he owned the place. I mean, sure, that's what the contract says, but we didn't hear the truth about it until today. The rest you already know, Lloydo. This is a little more complicated than I was expecting. I think I understand the situation though. I'm still in shock that the Lake Lord Company is the one pulling the strings behind the Imperial Fishing Club. As fellow anglers, I have to, no issues with them wanting to expand their club and all. But not at our expense, not through the use of Concerium. Yeah, I don't understand why they hate us so much. It's harassment, plain and simple. So it's not like we can do anything about it. For now, I think all we can do is wait and see. At the rate things are headed, this could spell the end of the Fisherman Guild Crossbell branch. It may not be enough, but I'm going to start by ending our hiatus. Nice, this means the Crossbell branch of the Fisherman Guild is official back in business. I've been waiting for this. However, all members will be starting over at the amateur fisher rank. <laughs> I'm also going to have to suspend the rank certification exam too. Wait, what? You can be serious. But, but I'm a master fisher. Not anymore, you're not. All that hard work. Come on, Copan, it's not so bad. You will rank up again in no time once the exam is back. Easy for you to say. You stole out at the hobbyist fisher rank. <laughs> I was still an amateur fisher rank anyway, so I've got nothing to worry about. To make up for it, I'll supply you all with some new fishing gear. Hey, boys, take this. 
I'll leave you guys to it. As for me, I'll get to work on finding us a new office. Let's reconvene soon to exchange any info we can dig up on the Imperial Fishing Club movements. Yeah, got it. Well, that took a while, but we finally got to the bottom of what's happening at the old Fisherman Guild building. You're right, that's all we can do for now. Alright, let's continue the investigation. One more. Is this strict? Haunted place? Excuse us, everybody. It's down, right? The downtown district Lotus Heights. We come to the right place. Excuse me, is anyone home? No answer. It's locked? Yeah, it's bolted tight. Maybe I'm imagining things, but I think I sense a presence inside. Really? They all pretend you're not home and maybe they will go away trick. So now what? Do we get to be badass cops and bust the door down? <laughs> as much as I hate indulging you, we have to consider it if there are no other options. Uh, wh what was that? Sounds like someone tipped their hand. Your intuition was correct, Lloydo. Let's give them one more chance. Excuse me, we know you're there. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Someone's stubborn. Maybe they jump out the window? Well, that'd be a problem. Are you the ones making all that racket? What's going on here? Oh, sorry about that. We are with the Crossbell Police Special Support Section. We are here to see the tenant of this apartment. Do either of you know who lives here? Well, of course I do, but the thing is... How about you start by telling us what's going on? Sure thing. So that's your game. I guess you need to ID who's living in this unit. I think I owe you all an apology. What do you mean? To tell the truth, that used to be my apartment. I'm Gaithnar. You are. Yup, I'm the dummy that forgot to submit his change of residence notice. Too late now, I suppose. Well, oh well. Guess I'll have to submit that by the end of the day. Thank you, that will be a great help. On that note, would you mind sharing why you choose to move? No! <laughs> right, I guess there is no avoiding it. I was working as a trader a year ago, but screwed up and lost everything. That's why I wound up living here. Presently, an old business associate lent me a hand and helped me get back on my feet. I was offered a job in Carvard a couple of weeks ago and accepted it on the spot. If that's the case, why are you still here in Crossbell? Just dropping by, I thought I should thank everyone in the building. Oh, I don't know where I'd be if not for them. It wasn't a big deal, my friend. Gotcha, thanks for being honest with us, Gator. Now we need to know more about the new resident of this room. Ah, right. Is there something more we should know about? The thing is, this tenant situation is a bit different. Hmm. Hey, it's Tans. You in there? Mind opening up? There are police officers here, they say they need to identify who's living here now. It's for legal purpose. Ah. 
Looks like it's open. Do you want... Do you have to do, but don't go causing any trouble. Of course, thanks for your cooperation. Excuse us. Are you here to mock me? Huh? I ask if you came to mock me. I'm Gobble. I was once a Dyad member, but I lost everything. Wait, I know you. This will be representative Gabble of the Imperial faction. Well, former representative, anyway. Why don't you hold up at Saint Ursula after your transgression and corruption were exposed? So you know. Well, you have found the man you're looking for. What are you doing? going to do with me now? As you can see, I'm completely broke. Mirrorless. I won't be able to afford this apartment if not for the mercy of an old acquaintance of mine. Are you sh here to take advantage of me? Strip me of what dignity I have left? No, of course not. We are only here to confirm who the current resident is. So, Mr. Gablo, you are the current occupant of this room, right? Y yes, that's correct. That's all we need to know. Nothing criminal is happening here, then you're fine. I have a question. Why use such a ridiculous name on your change of resident notice? It was too suspicious. You will never be able to fool anyone with a name like that. Not that you are one to talk about names, but yes, it was the most suspicious on the list. Right. Truth is, I always been a big fan of Sean R. Hams. It was the only name I could come up with while I was staring at the form. Oh, so that's why. It's true that Sean Arkman work is intended for all ages, I suppose. There is nothing wrong with being young at heart. I guess that's true. Shut up, leave me alone. You have you have what you came here for, so get out of my house. Yes, excuse us. I think it's time, Lloyd. Right. We'll be going now. I never expect to run into representative Gobble. All things considered, he may be better off than several other former Diet members. I agree, the Diet members that were forced to resign in the wake of the cold incident have it much worse. They got what they deserved, but good luck convincing them of that. I think the big takeaway here is that past misdeeds will always come back to haunt you. Still, I'm sure he can turn his luck around as long as he works hard to better himself and keeps his nose clean. I still have hope that Gobble and all the other former representative can be reformed and find peace. So do I. Hopefully Ernest can one day too. Our leader isn't just fearless, he also oh so compassionate. So compassionate leader. How about we go for some drinks and trinity? We could all use it after that talk. Ah uh, we're still on duty, you know. Anyway, that wraps up the check we had to perform downtown. I think that takes care of this case. Let's head back to Civic Center and give our report. I forgot how to teleport. No forgot. I forgot the bottoms. Stop it. Don't judge. Here we are. How is your investigation of the suspicious addresses going, everyone? Actually, we just finished and we're here to give you our report. Oh my, you all did a wonderful job. That's interesting, Calvary's move into the residential district and people of Fairbonia doesn't move into East District. And as for downtown, what's this? 
something wrong. No, I just was not expecting to read Mr. Gumball's name here. I have mixed feelings about the matter given how often I used to see him in this building before his falling out. It's strange, even after all he did and everything that happened with the Imperial faction, I can bring myself to hate the man. Not at all, I know exactly how you feel. For better or worse, he seemed like a straightforward person, at least he's got that going for him. I have nothing else, I suppose his taste in literature is innocent. <laughs> I guess that's true. I believe this wrap up your investigation, SSS. The next step is for the residential affairs to file the paperwork. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome. Please let us know if you need something. Okay, we're gonna let it till here, so guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you next one. If you guys want. I don't know. All the lights are passing by